Hello and welcome back to the Gamer Fortress, everybody. And today we're gonna be looking at a game called Beat Saber. And I've been playing this for a while, and it's on the Oculus Quest 2. I'll be showing you that. And I really enjoy it actually. It's really fun and exciting. It's $30 in the US currency. You should get it. But we're gonna be looking at a few things about this game that I think I should tell you about because we're today we're gonna be looking at the things about Beat Saber, and I'll be looking at it. So let's start. <laughs> So we're gonna be going over a few things like I said. We'll be looking at the look of the game, the feel of the game, the game itself, and the overall quality of the game. If you want more of this series, make sure you like and subscribe. So, the look of the game. We'll be talking about how the game looks and what I feel I should tell you about it. So the game itself actually looks pretty fine. It has a ton of things that it could improve on, but the look of the game actually is pretty good. I love how you have like the boxes and how you can slice through them. It's super satisfying when you slice through it. And then like the beat, like the beat shows like through the game. It's really cool. And like when you use the sticks, you put it together. Like when you use, like when you take your hands and put like the laser together, it makes it actually feel like you're holding a real laser, like a lightsaber. And when you put it together, it makes a vibration sound, like you're actually touching it. And that is what I love about the look. The one problem I don't like is how sometimes it can get really glitchy. And we'll go over that a little later, but it can get really like whacked out and it's really weird. That's what I feel is weird about like the look of the game. The feel of the game, the feel of the game, I give it, I give it a four out of five. I give it a four out of five for the uh, the feel of the game because like we said earlier, there are glitches sometimes and that can really hurt your eyes because like some blocks just like twitch around sometimes and it really is really weird. Feel of the game like when you slice, like we said, when we slice, like when you hit the block, like when you slice through it, it's really satisfying and I really enjoy that concept. It makes it so you want to hit more blocks and you don't want it to get it wrong because if you get it wrong, like the beat stops. That's why I love the field. The one part I don't like is again, the glitching around and how sometimes it would just go all wacky. So that's what I don't like about the field. That's what I like about the field. The game itself. The game itself, I give five out of five. It is amazing. The game is so cool, and how you can give get everything. Like you pretty much start out with like eight packs, and that's really good. And each game is gets really hard, which means you can just move up in your skill. And then once you want to buy a new pack, and knowing that you can beat it is awesome. But the part I don't like is how the game is thirty dollars, like we said. But you have to buy the like more packs there's like a ton of packs you can buy and they're all like 12 bucks and that's like seven songs included i feel like that's like a pretty okay deal i wouldn't like guarantee i'd wait until like there's a discount on the song or discount on the whole pack itself before you like decide to buy it because they're just songs on an oculus quest 2 the overall quality of the game is really good but we talked about how you can glitch uh like sometimes i'm gonna be going over that soon so if you want to stick around i'm gonna tell you about how to fix that and how you can record at 4K. So the game is actually really good. If you want to download it, it's $30, like we said, on Oculus Quest 2. It's on pretty much any VR set you can get your hands on at these days. And I really like that. Cause like it's only 30 bucks. Like some games right nowadays are 60 to hundred dollars. And I feel like that's not good. The game is not cheap, but it's not expensive either. Because on the Oculus Quest 2, there's a lot of games that are a lot cheaper, but like, like let's say Star Wars, their games are actually pretty cheap, but you only play like story mode pretty much. And then you have to stop because it gets boring, you know? Um, it's, I was actually expecting a little less from it, but super high quality. Even on like a wireless headset, as so as the Oculus Quest 2, it looks um pretty good. It can get pretty glitchy sometimes by there, and um you gotta hit that sweet spot with the Oculus to get that crisp and look on Beat Saber. But it's pretty good. So that's well, it's I'll, I'll, it's like a half and half because like one time you're like really good at it, and like it's fun. But it's something about, like, it, like, it's cool, and it's just, 
sometimes it can get like uncomfortable and I don't know what but like if you get it just you'll see what I mean but it doesn't but it's pretty good I like the concept of it like I feel like a lot of like you can have the mix of like music people who like music and kind of like a Star Wars vibes with the sabers um so I feel like they have like two different communities coming together um so I think it's pretty cool the concept of the game so yeah, the overall quality I'll give it like a seven, eight out of ten. It could be, there could be a lot of work for, it and you only have minimum minimum songs, and then you have to pay like for packs of different albums, which I get. It's like 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 the game's already thirty dollars. Why would we have to pay extra to get like fifteen dollars for un, like for like seven more songs? But it's it's fun. It's just some of the prices are not where they should be. Hey, Gamer Sage, check me up on Twitch. Thank you for coming. Uh, so guys, that's what you get from him. That's how you, that's like the old, like the thing you get from him. So, uh, we'll keep talking about this in a second. But we're going to tell you about his Twitch channels. Let's talk about Gamer Siege. So as you all know, he has a YouTube channel. You guys really should check it out. Link in the description. But for some reason, YouTube kicked him off. I don't get why. Uh, he doesn't either. But now he has put, moved on to Twitch. And if you guys know, Twitch is awesome. Go watch him on there. He's amazing on there. I'll put also both of them in link in description. But he kind of sponsored this. So thank you, Noah, for sponsoring this segment. Uh, so go check out Gamer Siege in the description on Twitch. He's really, really good at gaming, actually. He's really funny. He can entertain me pretty good. He entertains me, and we play, like, five hours a day. <laughs> That's an exaggeration. It's an understatement. But we play, like, all day, every day, and he entertains me, like, all the time. You guys really should check him out. Subscribe to him, follow him on Twitch, and that's it. Sakai, thank you for sponsoring this segment. That's why it's only $15 to buy Star Wars games. But I don't get why it's $30. I feel like it should be like $25. Because you still have to pay for more packs. Like, I don't know, like Imagine Dragons have their own pack. If you want to buy Imagine Dragons pack, it's $13. It's $12.99 in US currency. And as like a lot lower, knowing that it's just digital songs that you could probably get custom. And I'll show you also how to get custom songs. But I feel like it should be a lot cheaper. But the game is awesome. I highly recommend that you get it. You can do so many things. And it's so much fun. I've been playing it since Christmas at the time of recording. Uh, and I've loved it. I've loved the game. And I've been playing with Noah, uh, Shay Gemini. And that would be amazing. So, yeah, that's what I really like about the game. The game is awesome. You guys need to check it out. So, with all of you of that, thank you guys for watching this video. And I will see you all next time on the Gamer Fortress. Stick around.